So Carvana, you can see it right here. I got 670 shares. I'm in at $11.08. It's at 48, well, 47.80. I'm up 24,000. I'm up 332%. Okay. Now, why did I buy Carvana? Couple reasons. One, I love the company. I bought and sold four vehicles. I can't even remember. Three or four vehicles, at least three. Through Carvana, it's outstanding. I'll never buy from a car lot. I've only, a, a new car lot, I think I've only ever bought one. I hate them. I hate them with a passion. I went in to buy several times and I end up walking out pissed off. Uh, about got in a fist fight, all kind of crazy stuff. So I hate car dealers, period. There's one reason. The other reason is look where it was, look where it is. I mean, how can you lose $5? I think I was actually in around $8, $7, eight right in this area. I added on the way up. Now I'm in at $11. I got 670 shares. Like I told you, I'm up 300%. And so what happened, and that's all the reason I bought because of where it was, where it is. And I like the company. Did I check the financials and all that stuff? No, I don't know anything. I don't even know how to check them. I mean, I know how to look at them online, but I don't know what they mean because there's so many convoluted things. That, yeah, this is great. That cash is good. This is that, but this is not. Who knows? You can't predict what's going to happen. I don't care what you know, as I will prove right now. So it spikes up to $57. I'm up. I think it was close to 500% at this point. And I expected a pullback here at 59.50 because as you can see, uh, there's a level right here. See this right here? I expected it to hit that and pull back into the uh, $45 range, maybe the $40 range. Okay. So it gets up there and what, who comes out JP Morgan and a couple other banks. So JP Morgan, while it's spiking up to 57 comes out, downgrades the stock to $10. Are you freaking kidding me? That's what their analyst, their expert MBA, Harvard, whatever analyst says that that's his price prediction. Now, maybe they can get off, get by with that because they say that's the valuation, but they're saying it's the price prediction because when they say it's going up, if they say Carvana price, the next price target, that's what they call it, a price target. They said $10. And then there was a couple other banks. I don't remember who they were. One came out at uh, somewhere around 20. One came out at $35 is the new price target. Price target. That's what he said. As it's spiking to 57. What the hell is the matter with these people? It's obviously some kind of pump and dump. Maybe they didn't get enough shares before it came up. They're trying to drive it down which a lot of people believe it. So they said it here. Now I expected a pullback anyway, but because they said that it dropped back off and held here in the 45 range. And then it dropped down to 40. I was going to buy, but they were all doom and gloom. It's a piece of crap. Comp they talked me out of it. I was going to add more here. And I said, no, wait till it comes down here. Cause these idiots keep ragging on it. They think it's a piece of junk. So I'm just going to wait and let them drive it down. And it didn't come down, it popped off. So it's up another eight bucks. Now it is still in this trend line. So we'll have to see what happens. I needed to break this trend line and then the comeback and the pullback area will be here to add again. If these idiot analysis people don't come out and say that it's worth $5 now. Oh, by the way, after it uh, pulled back to here and held, JP Morgan came back out like the very next, it might even have been the same day or it was the next day. Oh, uh, we're uh, revising our price target to $35 right here at this level. You freaking idiots, man. Go back to Harvard. Jesus, get away from my stocks. You're useless. I mean, I can make calls better than that. I know absolutely nothing about investing. I'm 100%. I would say I'm 98% chart driven. I checked some basic things on the company, but I really don't know what a lot of the stuff means. Uh, but the reason I buy is like I said, if a stock's been up here, I like the company. I know I can understand what the company does. 
and it's down here at five or six dollars, I'm buying it. That's my investing strategy. <laughs> now look, Carvana has a lot of junk to get through here, but it's making some fast headway. If it pops above this uh, 60 area, this level right here, jumps up to here, it's good to go. I expect a pullback here. I'll add some more there when it pulls back. <clears throat> but I wouldn't expect it to come all the way back down. I'm talking a $40. I expect it to come back here to 80 And then I, what I do is I'll, if I have enough shares, I pick them up. I swing trade it along the way. In other words, it pops up here. Like if it pops up to $57 again, well, I didn't pick up any shares. If I had picked up any shares here, I would sell them at $57 or $60, wherever it comes up to here, and then wait for another pullback to add again and so on. So in other words, swing trading it while keeping my bulk of my shares for the big run. That's the plan. So we'll see what happens.